Warning, the following may contain sexual imagery, violence, and strong language. This may create a not safe for work environment. Viewer discretion is advised. Previously, at the Mountains of Badness, Hudo SA, reminiscent of a lot of exposition, apparently. And now the continuation. Hopefully, with less exposition. Welcome at the Mountains of Badness, where I, Nightmare Alpha, present to you the Eldritch Abominations of Literature. First off, I want to apologize for last week's episode, but that was not completely my fault. This fucking thing was boring as hell and so much exposition, so yeah, I'm just sorry for you and apparently also for me. So, let's dive into part 2 of uh, the second chapter and see if we can improve. Hopefully. Part 2 On a certain day, after school, I went towards the old, building, the old school building after splitting apart from my two mates. To begin with, it seems like my job of handling out leaflets was originally a job assigned to Butcher's familiar. Oh, wow, yeah. Couldn't figure out that. Senpai changes the forms of the mouse and the bad that she owns into the form of a human and makes them hand out leftlets like I did. She says they do this both day and night. The reason why I was assigned to do it was because Boucher wanted me to know what kind of job devils have to do from the beginning. What? To do from the beginning? What is that for a sentence structure? Oh god. This is something Kiba and the others did as well. Kiba, Tojo, Koniko-chan, Himejima-senpai and are all servant devils. But Rias Baucho... Of, of Rias Baucho, sorry. So they are my senior. So they all have experience in doing the work I did. So each person has a history of doing it. Yeah, we get it. Ah. Oh, they aren't persons, but devils. I'm pretty sure devils are still persons, you know. It may not be important, but I got an approval from Tojo Koniko and Himejima Sanpai to call them Koniko chan and Akeno san, respectively. Yeah, that's not such an important thing to tell the audience. Looks like I got one step closer to getting along with them. Foo foo, I called them by their name in front of Matsumada and Motohama. On purpose. The expression on their faces was the best. Yeah, because calling somebody by their name is really important for Japanese. Apparently. I, have to I haven't told Motohama and Matsuma uh, about me. They won't believe me, even if I did. And they also think it will be really dangerous for them to step uh, foot into this world. Yeah, I'm also sure that they are the butt monkeys of the story, so they will not get a spotlight. I also did wa died once, so I can't drag them into this. By the way, I still I still call Kiba Kiba. Die, handsome. I will never call you Kiba-kun. Eh, you already did. Bad choice, bro. And so, today, I was called over to the club room. I went inside the old building that I'm getting familiar with, and I hear that I had to towards the room on, my, on the second floor. I'm coming in. Uh... Phrasing? Then I went inside after saying that everybody, everyone was already where. Oh, am I the last one? Yeah, apparently. Happens. The room is dark and the window is covered to block the light from entering. Only the light in the room is from the candles spread, uh, spread variously on the floor. Oh, a fire hazard. Nice. So you came. Uh, phrasing again. As soon as Bocho confirms that I'm here, she gives an order to Akeno-san. Yes, Bacho. Isei-kun, please come to the center of a magic cycle. Oh god, devil rituals. Eh. 
I know where Abyss is going. Akeno-san tells me to come using by using her hand. A beauty is waving her hand at me. Yeah, I did bad ones. Thank you very much. That alone is reward for me. Oh god, get a hold of yourself, dude. I walked into the center of the cycle. So what now? Issei, your work of giving out malefolence is, is over. Well done. But you're smiling. I see, so I'm done with handing out leaflets. Now I have you do the actual job of a devil. Oh, now I can make contracts? Yes, that's right. Through, since it's your first time, it's going to be a contract with somebody who wants to make a small wish. There are two reservation, res reservation contacts, contracts with Kaneko. Since she is hard, is hard to do both, I will leave one to you. Please. Help me out. Kaneko-chan bows her head. So I'm going on behalf of Kaneko-chan. That's okay. I was getting tired of handing out the leaflets. Oh, I was also tired of that. Unexpectedly, pedaling my uh, bicycle at, every night and handing out leaflets made me lonely. Yeah, me would... That, that, that's just normal. We are members are outside the circle. Akeno-san, who is inside the circle, is casting something. Then, the magic cycle starts emitting blue and white lights. Mm. Keep quiet, I say. Akeno is currently inserting your caved and carved seal into the magic cycle. Ucho says, my, cave, my carved cycle? Mm, seal? It seems like the magic cycle inside the room represents the grammary, apparently. I was told for us servant devils of Baucho, it's something like a family crest. So for people who are trying to summon us, and for people who want to make a contract with us, the sign represents our symbol. Yeah, I thought they got over this already. So the activation of the so-called demonic power is related to this? Yeah, devils have cycles, it's nothing new. Kiba and the others have these signs on their bodies in different sizes, and it operates whenever they use their demonic powers. That's what I was told. I thought about getting engraved with the same sign, but it seems like you have to learn how to control demonic power when you first become a devil, and then using demonic power which creates a natural phenomenon by coordinating it through the magic cycle after that. Okay, that seems unnaturally complicated. Well, that's what I thought. Oh, well, nothing really. Is it? Put your palms towards here. I put my left hand towards Bucho, just like she said. Bucho writes something on my palm with her fingers. She's writing a charm? It feels like she's drawing something like a cycle. Then my palm glows. The circular symbol, a magic cycle, engraved in my hand. It's glowing in blue and white. Oh, nice colors. Wow, a magic cycle! Yeah, you dumbass. This allows you to transport to the client, <laughs> client's place instantly by making by making you go through the teleportation type magic cycle. And then the contract is done, it lets you return to this room. Oh, convenient. Oh, I get it now. So that's so that has that kind of ability? Akeno, are you ready? Yes, Bucho. Akeno-san steps out of the magic cycle. Now stand in the cycle. I stand in the center of a magic cycle like she urges me to. Yeah, but okay. Then the magic cycle starts to make a stronger glow. Somehow I can feel power coming from it. When I'm touching the magic cycle, the power inside of me is flowing out. Oh no, it's an erection cycle. So this is the, the trait of being part of a group? Uh, apparently. The magic cycle is responding to the client. You will be teleported to that location now. You are re you ready? Have your manual for what you do after getting teleported, right? Yes! Good response. Now get going. I have my tension rising up. Oh god, it's really a react an reaction cycle. My first job! I'm definitely going to accomplish it safely! Oh god, he's dr getting melodramatic again. The magic cycle starts to glow even stronger. Oh no, it's exploding. 
it took it looks like I'm getting teleported there instantly. Yeah, that's called instant teleport. It's nice and handy. Then there are many lights which are covering my body. I closed my eyes because of a brightness. Next time I open my eyes, I will be at the client's place. Coo, I'm looking forward to do this. And then I instantly teleported. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Have I teleported? Is it done? I opened my eyes timidly. I got speechless because of my surroundings. It's the club room. Fail. Huh? What about the instant teleportation? Where is the client? When I look, Boucho seems to be troubled and is putting her head on her forehead. It's called a face palm, you idiot. Akeno san is saying, ah, ra, ra with a disappointed face. Well, she always says that, it's just not the disappointed face, but, you know. The bastard Kiba is making a sigh. He pisses me off. But did I su did something happen to me? Issei, Bocho calls my name. Yes? It's unfortunate, but it seems like you can't use a magic cycle to get transported to the client's location. Huh? What does that mean? I put on a puzzled expression, and Senpai explains to me. Magic cycles require a certain amount of demonic powers. It doesn't require that much demonic power. No, it's a feat that could be done by any devil, even children. Transportation through the magic cycle is the first and the easiest step of being a devil. What does that mean? In other words, Issei, your demonic powers are below that of children. No, it's so low that magic cycle can't respond to it. Issei, your demonic power is incredibly low. What? What? What the hell? I was speechless. Uh, so that means I can't use the magic cycle to teleport to a client's location because I don't have demonic powers? And I'm a devil? I'm a devil, right? No, you're an idiot. Unsightly. Conico's Chan says it, it's expressionlessly. Expressionlessly? What the fuck is that for a word? That is a servant hit, no, a severe hit, Kaneko-chan. Ah, ra, ra we are in trouble. What should we do, Baucho? Akeno-san also has a troubled face, and asks Bucho. Ah, my debut as a devil starts from a rough start. Uh, that's a strong sentence, or something like that. When Baucho says it clearly to me after thinking for a while, since there is a client, we can't call, we can't let him wait. Issei, yes, this never happened before, but you will have to go where on your own feet. By myself? I'm in shock. Uh, I'm in shock. I wasn't predicting that, Bocho Sama. Yes, just like how you handed out the leaflets, you will have to go to the client's house by bicycle. This can't be helped. You didn't have any demonic powers after all. You will have to make up for that with your own body. Ooh, kinky. On a bicycle? I will have to go to the client's place on a bicycle? There are even devils like that? Point. Kaneko-chan points at me silently. Kaneko-chan, you're sure like you make me feel miserable? Huh? Hurry and get going. It's a devil's job to make contracts. You can't make humans wait. Boucher urges me. Is a serious face. She has a serious face. Ah, my goal for getting a peerage starts from a bumpy road. Well, I will do my best. I love the club while so, while crying. Wow, you're a pussy. End of part two. Part three. It's midnight, and I'm pedaling my bicycle at maximum speed. Wait, it's midnight? Wasn't it after school? What time is stupid? My eyes are covered with tears. I'm crying. Yeah, I'm crying. A devil who can't get summoned through a magic cycle. That will be me. Apparently, this is the first case ever, ladies. Ladies? What the fuck? Thanks to that, my tears aren't stopping. Also, why ladies? This confuses me. I'm pretty sure no lady has ever re read this, uh, re listened to this book, or read this book, or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. What does she mean that I don't have demonic powers? Damn it! Will I actually be able to get a P-Rage at this rate? No. 
Using the devil's portable device, I'm pedaling my bicycle towards the person who's calling me. Bicycle, bicycle, I want to ride my bicycle, bicycle. Sorry, I just need to get my head out of this. It's an apartment located 20 minutes away from the school. The client is one is in one of those rooms. Uh, apartments are just not only one rooms, you know that. It's a delivery service. Customer get mad because of the late delivery. Uh, you're not a pizza, bro. You're a devil, apparently. It's usually instant teleportation, but I made my, my client wait for 20 minutes. If you're working in a store, then your manager will be mad at you. Also, the pizza is now is free after 30 minutes, I guess. My manager was troubled when I did that. Did I leave a bad impression on him? Uh, where is this coming from? This sounds like the author is talking now. Huh. Living as a devil sure is hard. Yeah, bro, I, you can tell. I knock on the door. Good evening. I'm an urn from the Devil Grimmery, Summer. Excuse me, but this is this the house that summoned us, right? It should be okay with this. Devils can only be sensed by humans who want to make contracts. I think this is a little bit inconsistent, but okay. Even if I do something like that in the middle of the night, the neighbors won't know what's going on. It seems like the, like only the client can hear what you say. During the time we are doing our job as a devil, special demonic powers get activated, and we won't cause trouble to those who isn't involved in it. Yeah, you already told me. That's what Bocho told me. And you already three times over, thank you. <laughs> Who's there? What? What I heard is the voice of a panicked man. Hmm? A devil? <laughs> um, I'm a devil. Uh, a newbie, I came here because I was called by you. Don't lie. There isn't any devil that knocks on the door. Devils come through this left lid. That's how it was for the past summoning. And that one I called is for Koniko-chan. Yeah, he's right. I will apologize for that. I'm sorry. It's so an unexpected incident incident for me and the others. Ah, I'm sorry. Seems like I don't have enough demonic powers, so I can't appear from the magic cycle. You must be a pervert. He's right. I got pissed off as soon as I heard that. I'm not. I'm not a pervert. And how should I... I know. And how should I know? If I could, I wanted to appear through the magic cycle. That's ki that kind of loner would pedal their bicycle through the town in the middle of the night? What? That sentence make no sense. Why are... Why are you the one getting pissed off, you super pervert? Wow, he's super right. Super pervert? Fuck you, I'm telling you that I'm a devil. No, you're a super pervert. Go home! Yeah, go home, I say. The, home, the client opens his door. The client complains. He's a skinny man. He looks unhealthy. Oh, fine. He looks angry, but as soon as he looks at my face, his, his expression softens. Sorry? Are you crying? Uh, me? When I put my hand on my cheeks, tears are on my hand. I'm crying. Is that so? So you are shocked to find out that you can't teleport through the magic cycle? It's look li it looks like it. I was allowed c to come into his room. He even made tea for me. Aw, oh, isn't that nice, you stu stupid idiot. The incident about the teleportation and the argument earlier crushed my heart more than I expected. And unconsciously, I was crying. Eh, uh, whatever. Of course, I want to cry. Yeah, I also want to cry at this stupid shit. The client, Morima-sama, who saw that... Who saw that allowed... What? Who saw that allowed me to come inside his room after feeling sorry for me? What is that for a sentence? His room, his room looks clean. It's a tidy room for a single guy like him to live in. Like him to live. <sighs> the translator is an idiot. He told me that he works for the government during the day. Moriyasawa son does his job seriously, but he's craving to get in touch with other people, so he ended up summoning devils from that lovelet. Wow, it's easy, just go with friends to a movie, that helps. So it's not Koniko-chan? He felt in love with Koniko-chan at first sight, 
who was the first devil he made a contract with, and since then has been summoning her. I isn't she a... Isn't she a 15 or 16 year old girl and she's in Oh my god, that implication. Ah. I'm sorry, but apparently that girl is popular with the other clients as well. It seems like she is in charge of the cuteness department. Yeah, my cuteness department is headed by something else. It has tentacles. When you summon a devil, you can wish for which devil to summon by calling out that devil's name. Well, that was how it was explained to me. And today, Koniko chans job was passed to me. There are cases where devils they choose can't be summoned, so other devils go as their substitute. I already expected this douchebag. Oh, sorry, I'm a little bit on edge with him. I wished for a devil from the cuteness category when I used the levelet. I'm a new, I'm a cute newbie, so can you be okay with that? No. Ha 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 ha, you talk something impossible. you talk of something impossible. If I had a silver sword with me, I would have stabbed you. Uh, what has silver to do with that? Oni son, you are laughing, but your eyes look serious. Uh, my eyes look serious right now. By the way, what were you going to wish for when you tried to summon Koniko chan? That is my question. Maybe I can also grant that wish to his. Oh, that will be fun. But that is instantly shattered when Morisama-san took out a certain thing from the corner of his room. Oh no, it's a dildo. I want her to wear this. Which girl's school uniform is that from? I think I have seen it somewhere before. Or maybe I haven't. Can you make up your mind? It's, it's the uniform of, Yuki, of Nagato Yuki. Nagato? Uh, from Susumiya Hari! Even I know it. Susumiya Hari series. It was popular anime last year, and now you know this was written in 2007. Devilkun, do you know? Do you also like Nagato? No, I'm more Asakura Ruko chan. God fucking shit! And your reason? And your reason? Her breasts! Huh! <gasps> Morisawa lost! His word, when he heard my reply without a second thought. Asakura Ryoko, a regular character from her from Susumiya Hari series, a beautiful girl with a glamorous body. A glamorous body? What the fuck? So you are a big breasts lover? Uh, apparently. Yes, Opai are packed with dreams. I thought they were packed with flesh and milk. <laughs> that I'm very sure of. Uh, okay. Okay, you never dissected a woman. Good thing! Then I imagine Boot Baucho's naked breast bouncing. Oh god, we're at this point. Baucho, I fall in love with your opai at first sight. Oh man, I'm just... No, I'm just... No. I was too embarrassed to say it in front of you, but I will definitely protect your opai, Baucho. No. Just... No. You have good eyes. Seems like you have an extremely high passion towards Opai. I see you have an opposite fetish as as me. I like small breasted girls. Ooh, delicious flat delicious flat chested girls. Mmm, my man. I can understand that. I have a friend with that set with the same taste. The guy appears to to my mind as my evil buddy who wears glasses. Motohama. He's a genuine pervert, that I'm very sure of. Yeah, that's nice to have friends like this. Yes, I don't think she, Koniko, looks similar to Nagato for, so, for her atmosphere. True, she's a bit short. Then you say it like that, Koniko-chan has a small body. She shows no expression. She has a body with no curves. Her hair is short and they, they do seem similar. Yuki, Nagato Yuki is also a character like that. Oh, the author also. Oh, the author actually says that he rips off this character. Hmm, that's a nice touch. Well, at least he's honest, partially. That's why I wanted her to wear this. I really wanted her to wear it. Uh, can you say it not twice in a row? Morisawa sa sheds a tear of regret. He sure is regretting it. I'm regretting it. Morisawa, he really wanted her to wear it, huh? I'm sorry about it, okay then? Let me wear it. Uh, 
I'll fucking kill you, bastard! Hey, that's my line. Morisawa-san turns down my kind offer while shouting. Please don't get mad while crying out that much. It's a joke. I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm not kidding. Morisawa-san tries to calm down after whipping off his tears. He takes a deep breath and calms down. Well, never mind. So, what is your special skill? You are a devil, so you should be good at something, right? Something like using a mysterious power. Just to tell you, Koniko-chan has extreme strength. She carries me like a princess. Um, okay. Whatever floats your boat, dude. Morisawa-san says it with pride. Where has your pride... Where has your pride as a man gone off to? Well, to a happy place, I guess. But my special trait? Hmm. I crossed my arms. And then I and then say it seriously. My special skill is the Kamehameha. You fucking idiot. Go kill yourself. Th that's the actual dialogue, not me. That's what well, what's with that response? You shouldn't say that right away. And your words had so, so much killing intent in it. Uh, okay. Of course I am! In what kind of world is there a devil that has Kamehameha as a special skill? In this world, I guess. He here, right here. Thanks, SA, for making my point. I said it strongly while pointing by pointing it myself. By pointing it my God, God damn it, this editor! Then do it! I will. If you can shoot it, then shoot. Don't look down on us. The generation who grew up with Dragon Ball. When we were in junior school, all of us practiced doing Kamehameha during break, break every Monday. Why every Monday? We even tried to collect spirits so we could use Genkidama. Through nothing happened. Don't look down on our generation. God damn it, that's basically my generation. Ah! Shut up! So who cares if you were raced while watching Dragon Ball? I have all the manga volumes, I even brought the special cover version in first print as well. Me and my mates also played hide and seek by using key. Wow, I want to see that happen. I talked back to all of his argument. I'm pissed. Yeah, I'm really pissed. Oh, then he stinks like piss. That's not good. Then I show you Hudo S. Hudo S. Usi, a version of Kamehameha. I activate my sacred gear. Oh god, that goes so wrong. First, I close my eyes. Then, I put my left arm upwards. I imagine Son Goku in my head and put my arm down while making a pose, doing a Kamehameha. I put all my energy in it. Shit, take this, your, you Dragon Ball generation. This is my ultimate attack. Oh my god, the ultimate technique. Kamehameha. Flash! Instantly, my left arm glows. The sacred gear, a red gauntlet, appears while covering my left arm. How's that? This is my sacred gear. Flow. Flow is apparently a sound word. But I look at Morisawa-san and he's crying hard. I think that word is laughing hard. He then grabs volume one of Dragon Ball from his bookshelf. He grabs my hand, and we exchange a passionate handshake. Let's talk about it, Flo. Tears are also flowing out of my eyes. Oh god, that's embarrassing. That's enough to understand that he is trying to say... He, well, what, what he is trying to say. Yes, let's talk about it. So the long night starts. God damn it. <laughs> Me too. I also think it was a good, good that wakamoto san voice sell as well. Okay, that's a little bit too insidery. Yeah, it sounded just like how I imagined it to be. Okay. After we got his manga, we we've been laughing and talking about the past two hours. As we talked, we forgot to the age gap between us and have already become friends. <laughs> he had a bad first impression, but when we started talking, we realized we can get along. Oh, fine for you. Okay, maybe I should make a contract with you as well. Yeah, President, thanks for the contract. Is that an 
what the fuck is that for a sentence? Yes, 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 to quote my, uh, Daniel Bryan. Got my first contract. My, my legend starts from here. The legend of an idiot pervert. Oh, that's a legend I can deal with. Okay, it might become it might be a standard wish, but I would I see that is indeed a normal but popular wish. I check. I turn on the portable device for devils. I think it's called a PD. It and it operated it. Then I input the wish and the answer appears. Um uh in your case to fulfill that wish, your prize would be your life. So you will die. Die? Yes. The devils would... S they say that the individual life isn't equal. I'm sorry. So for you to wish to becoming ris rich Morisawa son, you would have to die. Feels like I got my ha heart ripped out. But that's okay. Anyway, uh, if I can make a wish, where will I die? Um... As soon you die as soon as the money starts dropping from the sky. Looks like you can't even touch it. Is this is awful. Uh a general, a general genie would actually just drop the money and coins on you to kill you, but okay. Uh so I can smack the money into my face then? Huh? Don't try to hit me with that. Yeah, he just witnessed someone's dream getting crushed. I, I witnessed someone's dream getting crushed. My dream I don't believe. I like I thought, making a wish like that basically near impossible for Morisawa san. So this is what Bocho main means. That people that people's value isn't equal. That is an unfair fair world we live in. Eh, tell me, buddy. But then how about a harem? How about wishing for lots of girls in a in a sumptuous feast? So, you will go where, huh? I'm a bit moved. He's a guy, after all. I think not all guys are into harems. Of course, he will wish for something like that. No, not all people do that. Morisawa son, I also love harems. It's every man's dream, after all. Not mine. Amazing. I think I can enjoy drinking alcohol with you one day, even though I'm a minor. Uh, okay. I don't care about that. So, what does it say? I input the wish in the device. Oh my, that is a harsh answer. Well, it says that you would die as soon as the beautiful women and girls come into your sight. I'm going to die just by seeing them? No, it says as soon as they come into your sight, so you won't be able to tell whether they are beautiful or not. That's harsh. Isn't it better to walk past beautiful girls in the city? <laughs> Suddenly, Mori Morisawa-san, who is an adult, starts to cry. <laughs> so, I was a human who didn't have much work? Uh, I can only say I'm sorry for being born. Uh, I'm sorry for you being born as well. I pat softly on Morisawa-san's shoulder. Let's continue talking about Dragon Ball till morning. You want to play, to play Dragon Ball? I will be Goku, and you can be Freezer. Is that okay? Morisawa son nods with his, his head while crying. Like this, my first contract become invalid. I have to take care of my client. End of part three. God, what did I just witness? Damn. Okay, this was a Dragon Ball filled bullshit, and I think we stop here because well, I certainly can't take it anymore. So, uh. Apparently that perverts like Dragon Ball and want to be carried by lowly girls. Okay, I'm fine with that. So, uh, hope to see you next Thursday with more of these bullshit. Okay? Uh, until then... I hate my life. Oh, you're still here? That means one of three things. One, you liked what you heard. If that's the case, I recommend that you show that by using the small thumbs up button below. Two, you wanted to see how deep the rabbit hole goes and stayed till the end. In that case, 
you might want to see how it continues by pressing that subscribe button or free you fall asleep while listening. I wish you sweet dreams if that's the case and hope you come back for more sleep-worthy content. If you want to know something or have issues with what I'm doing, you might want to leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to call me an asshole in the comments. And now for something else. Recommendations. As always, I recommend you check out the work of Blasperus, the guy who makes the art for the show, on DeviantArt. Link is in the description, he's a cool dude. And for videos, I recommend my latest anime reaction videos on The Testament of Sister New Devil, Episode 6. It's a good one, make sure to check it out. So, and uh, that concludes the episode, I guess. See you next Thursday with more... badness. <laughs>